So the first thing we want to do is identify what the function is that is being transformed or being moved, right? So we have these 12 basic functions that I have around the room that are in your notes. Identify which function is being used. So you can see here my function is cosine of x, cosine of x, square root of x, e to the x, absolute value of x, x cubed, 1 over x, and ln of x. You don't need to understand what the function is. You just need to understand what, the func what is the function that's being transformed, right? So if you're like still confused on e to the x or ln of x, you don't remember those, that's OK. We don't really, it doesn't really matter at this point in time. All we need to do is identify, is my c, this random number, is that being added or subtracted inside or outside of the function? So a good, healthy tip for you we, no, the phone, we're not actually using the phones right now um, in this activity. So if you add, a, add or subtract a number inside parentheses, it's inside the function. If you add or subtract a number as an exponent, in, in, as a power, it's inside the function. If you add or subtract a number under a radical, it's inside the function. If you add or subtract a number in the denominator, it's inside of the function, usually, typically. So if I'm adding my number plus 1 inside these parentheses, can you guys reason with me that it makes sense that that is now being added inside the function? So therefore, I say, OK, well, when I add something inside the function, that's a horizontal translation. When it's x plus c, that means I'm going c units to the left. So you would just say left one unit. Here is an example of outside the function. And the, and the way that I also like to look at this, the reason why I'm using red and black do you guys see how by adding one outside the function, my cosine function is still intact? It looks exactly the same, right? Whereas when you add inside it, it changes. It doesn't look the, it doesn't look the same, right? Because it's like a one inside of it. But when you add a number outside of it, cosine of x is still the same, the same function, didn't change. So this would be a transformation of up one unit. Over here, you can see I'm subtracting the one inside of the function. So therefore, that's a transformation of going to the right one. So if positive takes me to the left, negative is going to take me over to the right. Over here, again, you can see I'm subtracting the 5 in the exponent. So therefore, um, I'm going to be shifting 5 units to the, starts with an R, right. Over here, all I'm simply doing is adding a 5 outside the function. Absolute value of x still remain, is still the function. It's just being added 5. So therefore, that's shifting the graph up five units. Here I'm adding a 3 inside the function. So that's going left 3. Here, my function 1 over x, I'm adding a 1 outside of it. So therefore, it's going up 1. And here I'm adding a function. Did I not do any downs? I didn't. <laughs> Let's make this one go down. So therefore, we're going down 2 if it's negative. Anybody have any general questions? The basic idea is first, understanding the function. Second, understanding inside or outside. And then third, making sure you know the notes. Yes? In the L and the S, mm -hmm. how do you know the compression or Well, we're going to get to compressions or stretches in a second. Is that LN or LN? That is LN. 